The Kino 651 was designed to see if adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy or a MEK inhibitor in MSS or microsatic stable colorectal cancer make any difference. Just of note, the, the Kino 651 had actually five different cohorts, you know, A, B, C, D, and E. The one that I presented was a B and D long-term follow-up, and that was a first line and second line with full FOX or full FIRI in second line adding pembrolizumab. Now the other core, just as a background, you know, A, C, and E are adding MEK inhibitor. So the A is just pembrolizumab plus a MEK inhibitor. And the core C is a first line with full FOX plus a MEK inhibitor plus pembrolizumab. And the core E is second line in full theory. So the, so the rationale is that we know in, in MSS colorectal cancer, the response rate to immunotherapy is close to zero with, a, with minimal response at all. Only patients that benefit are the MSI high patient. But the question is, can you add chemotherapy or can you, can you add targeted therapy to sort of change the microenvironment to make the tumor more immunosensitive? So basically turning this what we call cold tumor to hot tumor. So the results uh, from the, the Kino 651 study, the long-term study, at least core and B and D, show that yes, by adding pembrolizumab and to, uh, to chemotherapy, there, we did see some efficacy in terms of response rate uh, and the PFS overall survival. That seems to be comparable to historical number. Now, once again, this is not a randomized study, so there's no comparison arm. So I cannot say one, one arm is better than the other, but at least number-wise, it seems to be comparable. One thing that does stand out is second line uh, case with fulfiria plus pembrolizumab, where the overall survival is over 25 months. So once again, from that perspective, from historical perspective, that seems to be a little bit longer than the typical what we see. But once again, the caveat is that it's a very small sample size and it is not a randomized study. So the question next step is, can we find out a biomarker? Is there some kind of predictive biomarker that can predict who will respond to the, the combination regimen, including immunotherapy and MSS colorectal cancer? Well, we saw some trend. Uh, we, we saw that maybe certain gene expression, uh, we saw certain you know, pd one expression may uh, correspond with higher response rate and longer uh, PFS and overall survival. Um, other uh, thing we looked at is the KRAS status. I think that's very important because we know that KRAS uh, a patient with KRAS tumor tends to be non-immunogenic. Uh, they tend to be less inflamed compared to a RAS wild type. So in our study, the patient who are KRAS wild type, once again, tended to have a little bit higher response rate, longer PFS over survival, but it was not significant compared to the patient with KRAS mutant. So once again, I think based on the small sample size, I'm not sure if it could come to any conclusion in terms of whether any of the biomarkers are predictive of response to immunotherapy in MS of colorectal cancer. However, having said that, I could confidently say that you know, combination of Pembro plus chemotherapy was very well tolerated. But once again, since this was not a randomized study, obviously further study needs to be done to see whether this goes forward. Having said that, and there are other randomized phase two studies that's been presented in similar setting where they add chemo plus IO plus anti-VEGF with bevacizumab, which is commonly used. Unfortunately, those, uh, those studies were not very positive. Therefore, I think, unfortunately, based on those data and our data, I am not sure if adding chemotherapy to immunotherapy in MSA colorectal cancer in first or second line is gonna go any further.